once you have all of your hair on like this we're going to move on to round 14 and you can style the hair later on you can just let it hang while you work I'm not going to finish off this one because this is just demonstration dolly so for round 14 to 16 you're going to do a single crochet right around so do that first single crochet and put the stitch marker back in and it's simply a single crochet into each stitch around so that'll be the same for rounds 14 to 16 so I've just reached the end of round 16 after doing a single crochet into each stitch and now we're going to start round 17 so we're going to single crochet into the next five stitches so there's the first one and we'll place the marker back in so that's one stitch that's two three four five and over the next two stitches we'll be single crocheting them together so you insert your hook wrap the yarn over the hook draw it through insert the hook into the next stitch wrap the yarn over the hook and draw it through wrap the yarn over the hook and draw it through all three loops on the hook you've single crocheted two together so you're going to do that right around so a single crochet into the next five stitches and single crochet two together and repeat that right around until you get to the stitch marker so I'm at the end of round 17 and I should have 30 stitches and now we're going to embroider the mouth between rounds 15 and 17 so just pull up a loop there and take that hook out so we've just done 17 so the mouth is going to go here now as you can see on this dolly if you count from the round that's under, underneath the eyes is round 13 so count down 14 15 and the mouth is sitting on round 16 so I'll show you how to do that so if you get your red yarn onto your needle and we're just going to go in line with the side of the eye so we'll start at the top of round 16 down in line with the eye and just pull up like that And as you can see on this one, I diagonally come down. And I leave a little bit of thread at the back there because I want to tie a knot there so the mouth doesn't come undone. Just move that out of the way. just want to tie a knot there and that'll be hidden inside not too tight okay and now we're going to come across one We've got one, two, three stitches there. So one, two, three, and come up through there. And we're just going to go back into join it there. And now you can come up the back and through the side of the mouth there again and just double over to get
give it a more fuller looking mouth. And then come up the other side here in line with the other eye. And then into that one there. And just do that. And that one again. Just to double up. And just do the bottom again, the bottom of the lip. Now, if you want another kind of smile, you can always you can always um, just have a line across, or if you want an unhappy face, it depends what you want. So you can embroider the lips to how you like it. And then to finish off, you just do a knot in the back.